I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this video. Let's jump right to it. Second Edris chapter 7, starting at verse 2. And he said unto me, Up, Edris, and hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, Speak on, my God. Then said he unto me, The sea is set in a wide place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case the entrance were narrow like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? And that narrow place is that straight gate with a lot of tribulations surrounding that narrow path. Verse 6, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water, and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for inheritance, and if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? And that inheritance is for the Israelites. Okay, that inheritance is the kingdom of heaven, that promise. But we have to go through that narrow path to receive that promise, to receive that kingdom. Okay, now when you read verse 7, it says, the fire on the right and on the left a deep water. That's why fasting is important, man, to fast. Because when you're on that tightrope, you have that water on one side, that deep water, that fire, that hot fire on the other side. You have moments where you feel that heat or you feel little splashes of water coming from the other side. You didn't fall into the water. You didn't fall into the fire, but you can feel it a little bit. That's when you need to fast, man. Okay? To adjust your mind, adjust your spirit. We all have times, and it's true, where our light ain't burning as hot as we feel it should be burning. And we know certain things are in our way that stop us from reading as much as we could or doing lessons as much as we could. Okay? So when you fast, it's straightening you out in the spirit. Okay, because it's a spiritual move. You starving the flesh and you feeding the spirit. Okay, that's how you adjust whenever you're dealing with something and it feels like that fire is getting to you on one side and it feels like that water kind of splashing a little bit. You ain't fell in, but you're having a hard time. You're going through the same cycle over and over again and there's an issue you're going through that you can't get past for whatever reason. That's why you need to fast. And Yahweh Shah said that, okay, about us. Let's read it in Luke 5. Luke chapter 5, starting in verse 33. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often and make prayers? And likewise, the disciples of the Pharisees, but thine eat and drink. And he said unto them, Can you make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. Right. So Yahweh Shah was taken up into a chariot up to heaven to be on the right hand side of Yahweh, the Most High. He haven't came back yet. So that's what it means by, and then shall they fast in those days. We are still in those days right now because Yahweh Shah is not here yet. Now, why was Yahweh Shai saying, then shall they fast? Because they were going to be tested, man. As they gained more experience and time went forward in this truth, they were going to be tested in the flesh, going through different situations, man. Paul spoke about the flesh. Your spirit might be very willing, but your flesh is weak. So you're going to have situations where you're battling hard, man, with the flesh versus the spirit. And that's when it talks about the narrow path of that water and that fire on one side to straighten you out, to iron you out. Then shall you fast. Fast to do what? Fast to straighten your spirit out, man. Relock you in, okay? Overcome certain things of the flesh that you're dealing with. You have to utilize that because that's what your Habashi Mahashan set it up for, man, to starve the flesh because the flesh is kicking your ass for whatever reason. 
All right. Now let's go into Galatians chapter 5, starting in verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. What is a great example of walking in the spirit? Starving the flesh. Okay. Because if you're having trouble in the spirit, what do you do? Well, you pray, obviously. Okay. You got to pray. Always pray. Okay. But you pray and fast. You starve the flesh. Therefore, you get more energy and more power and more vibration towards the spirit. To do what? To survive. To not fall in the water. To not fall in the fire. Though at times we feel it from both sides. From the battling. Okay? That goes with that battle. All right? Verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to the one to the other. So that you cannot do the things that you would. Right, you're fighting, man. It's contrary. But that's something we got to deal with, man. We got to deal with these chains of darkness in this flesh. And what's a good way to deal with it? Praying and fasting. Don't make it harder than what it is. You make this truth even harder with the fight when you're neglecting fasting. Because you're not utilizing what it's here for, what it was created for. Okay? It's created to iron you out in the spirit, man, at that moment, man. To give you that quick boost that you need. We all need quick boost, man. Okay, we all have times where it's like, man, it ain't looking good. It's kind of the flesh is eating you up. Okay? Well, you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused, and that fasting locks you in. Okay? It keeps you straight on that narrow path on that tightrope where you're not stumbling back and forth and tilting back and forth. So this is just a reminder in the spirit to all the brothers out there, man, that's serious in this truth and that wants to conquer demons and situations in your life that seem like it's holding you down, it's weighing you down. Okay, you heard it out of Yahweh's mouth. He say, in those days shall they fast when he leads, when he goes back to the Father. Okay, so, you know, pray about it, man. Continue to push. And, hey, man, whoever is neglecting that, man, you need to start to put that in your life and really make it happen and not hold it back, man. Like, it's not going to kill you, man. It's not going to kill you to go a day, okay, and just focus locked in only on the spirit and nothing fleshly, all right? You have different fasts where you may give up something. You know, that helps, but we ain't talking about that. We're talking about a fast, a total fast, giving the flesh absolutely no passageway. This flesh is wicked, man. This flesh is a piece of crap, man. F this flesh, man. Get strong in the spirit, man. And give praise to your Bashim Al Shai. Give honor and glory to your Bashim Al Shai for giving you this truth, man. And get stronger and gird up your loins like a man. All right? I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to give me the spirit to do this video. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, tell you, I'll come out there to do the truth and sincerity. Shalom.